In the young haze of my childhood days, if love showed its face to me, I wouldn't recognize it. Daddy didn't love Mommy, so Mommy got a new boyfriend. He loved her so much it hurt. He showered her with fists of love, pissed off hisses of love, got tired of kissing, he spit with love. He hit the walls, the holes in the walls resembled their love, their empty, livid love. Sometimes I like to believe they were hiding something in those holes, like pieces of their heart they hid away for later. When I finally was old enough to ride the fastest roller coasters and realize that life was one too, I watched my brother love. He pursued the crazy kind of love, the kind of love that keeps you up at night, keeps you locked in the house, keeps you hidden away from the world sometimes. Granted, he was up all night because she'd knock on the window in the wee hours of the night and break into the house and lie naked in his bed, and he was hidden away because she, he, she slashed his tires, and he was locked in the house because she wouldn't leave him alone. Oh, how crazy in love they were. <laughs> Later in life, I tried to love on my own. No one told me it was a war zone that I'd spend hours looking at my phones, staying at home, alone, searching for the bones of love I thought had shown. I make up love in my head. That's what I do. That's my thing. Before I go out, I make one of those stickers that says, Hello, my name is Vogue, with a footnote saying, Warning, I might fall madly in love with you. <laughs> if you smile at me, or say hi, or even make accidental eye contact. <laughs> because, you see, I didn't know what love was, truly. How could I? I didn't know the difference between the platonic love and the passionate one. What was love, and when would I understand? You see, I fell in love with everything and everyone. I wasted ink on all the wrong boys. I let boys who didn't like me hold my hand or lie with me at night, but it was wrong. It was all wrong, so I cursed love. Love wasn't real. Love was just an idea. An idea we had to convince ourselves was there. There were so many shades of love, stages and hazes of love, blackout fadings of love, that I wasn't sure whether love was a garden of red thorn roses or a field of sweet lilies and honeysuckles. Yellow or red, black or white. And then I moved to New York. And, that I, and I sat in a forest trapped by a city, and I sat at a cafe on a patio of a busy street, and I went to fancy restaurants and penthouse parties and dingy dive bars, and I traveled to Coney Island, and love did show its face to me, and I did recognize it. It was in a moment, a helping hand, a knowing, a knowing smile in life itself. I thought I'd come to New York and fall in love with a beautiful man, maybe with blue eyes and a British accent. <laughs> but instead, I fell passionately in love with my life. Mm -hmm. All right.